Evolutions work in interesting way. More often than not, I will be listing the worst animal evolution in history. This creature actually live only to mate, and this is called a lunar moth. They live in the forest of North America and they only have about one week to fulfill their life mission. They don't have time for eating and they also don't have digestive system. Judging by the look alone, it will be hard enough for you to believe that kiwi beds are just actually small like your chicken. They are closely related to emus, ostrich and cassowaries. The kiwi bed first evolved some 30 years ago, which makes it one of the oldest type of beds still living up to now. Moreover, female kiwis have just two functional ovaries. Kiwi's eggs are about six times larger than itself. The pressure of a kiwi egg in the mother's organ is so great, it can eventually make eating impossible for parents until they lay the egg. Talking about making eating impossible for parents, let's talk about the octopus. Octopuses are smart but they are not exactly built for survival. With its surprising degree of intelligence, excellent camouflage skills and regenerative abilities, octopuses actually don't live very long. The reproductive process of the octopus actually sucks for both male and female. Female octopuses actually lay large clusters of eggs and they actually stop eating entirely. Any octopus offspring that survive are immediately welcomed by the corpse of their dead mother. Spotted hyenas are perhaps best known for their peculiar vocalization. It sounds a lot like a laughter to a human's ear, but in reality, the sounds are ways of communication. There is another thing spotted female hyenas are famous for, and you better not laugh about it. And it's the difficult and dangerous way they give birth. According to African geographics, female spotted hyenas are stronger and larger than the males, had the holy mammal to compilate to give birth and to urinate through a penis like canal. Hyena's cubs suffocate on their way out. About only 2 out of 5 cubs survive this process. Cheetahs are super fast, and that's it. That's all. Cheetahs hunt during daytime, relying on high sight rather than smell to stalk its prey. Cheetahs use their speed to chase prey, and if the chase is already getting too long, the cheetah will stop and it will take about 30 minutes for it to recover. If a cheetah should kill antelope, it has to eat fast. And that's the reason why it has to eat fast. To make videos like this are not easy. Please comment down below video ideas and subscribe. Thank you.